Hi, Cancer. It's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How are you? So let's take a peek at your weekend energies, okay? Whoa, you already got somebody jumping out. So this is for the weekend of April 14th through 17th. And, oh, this yummy dreamer jumps out. So it's time this weekend to take a risk. What have you been thinking about, dreaming about? Where have you been desiring something, a change of some sort, taking, you know, and you want to take a step, a step of action. So where have you been wanting to do so, but you haven't? Well, this is the weekend to do it. So just ask, ask your higher self, ask the creator, like, okay, which is my step? Maybe you already know what it is, Cancer, but it's time. Now is the time. This weekend is going to be ripe for whatever it is you want to just dig into. Do it. Go for it. Don't hold back anymore. And, oh, wow, okay, maybe this is what's going on. You have a lot of choices. Okay, well, Cancer, that's awesome, right? I totally get it. Choices can almost be a little overwhelming. I get it. I get it. But this weekend is a time to just choose something, right? Take a risk. What's the worst that can happen? Really, what's the worst that can happen is if you take a chance, you choose something. After, you know, you ask yourself, you ask your body and your highest self, your heart space, like which of these choices would be the most compatible? Which would bring me the most joy? And then maybe even which would bring me the most, uh, if you're looking for a job or something, which of these jobs would bring me the most satisfaction? And last but not least, which may even pay me, <laughs> you know? I mean, it's fun to do things, but wouldn't it be nice to even get paid for what you love to do? That's even better. It's like the icing on the cake. But so, yeah, but it feels like this weekend you get to make some choices. And what was I, what I was going to say is, um, Maybe there's, you're putting a lot of pressure on this choice and you're taking, taking it a little too seriously, Cancer, when you can just ask yourself, okay, which of these things would be the most beneficial for me in all my realities, like money, finances, um, joy, everything, community, like your passion, your creativity. What, which one of these choices would really match me in all of the places that are important to me and, and just choose it. And then you know what? You can choose again. If that's the, that's the beauty of life is if something doesn't really turn out the way you were hoping it would, you don't have to, you don't have to, uh, feel bad or beat yourself up for making a wrong choice. Oh, I should have done that. I mean, and I know that's easy to go there, but don't worry about it. Just choose again. Cancer choose again. Our life is made up of choices and different experiences. And so, yeah, just enjoy the opportunities this weekend to choose or choose again. Maybe you need to take a risk and choose again. Whoa, whoa, and ta -da, the king, no, the knight of earth is here with you. So this weekend, you're going to maybe have a partner. This is, I'm talking about like an earth sign here. So it could be an earth sign in the physical realm, or it could be about energies of money, abundance. It could be a direction to help you make that choice. Um, it could talk about education. Maybe you're choosing which school to go to, uh, but you're going to have some help this weekend. The night of earth is a beautiful, beautiful, solid energy or person. Um, and they also talk about slow and steady. So you see this horse is just standing still. It, it's not racing forward. So there's no hurry. And I think what I'm hearing in this card is when you're making a choice to be cautious about needing to see quick results, something like that. Cause, cause sometimes things take a second to manifest. You make a choice, you energetically choose that, and then you just kind of wait and see what comes your way. That's another way of actually gauging which choice would be better for you, better, you know, just more pleasant for you. You can do this, Cancer. You can just, in your meditation space, just close your eyes and ask your body, your all of your bodies, your energy body, physical body, emotional body, and mental body, and your energetic body to kind of go full in, step, spiritually speaking, step into one choice and feel that. 
what does that feel like? And then step back out. And then the next choice, if you're having to choose between subtle things, step into this choice and feel what that would feel like. And you'll probably have noticed the difference. And then step back out of that and then do that for every choice you have. And then from there, you can gauge which direction you might want to go. But that's talking about, that's one way of helping you decide. And then when you do choose, whatever you're choosing, taking that initial step, just go slowly. You don't have to race forward. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to race into anything. You can take your time. You can just baby steps, baby steps, and see how it feels. Especially if you've been nervous about making these choices. Yeah, I get it. Take baby steps. And that way, as you step forward into something brand new, you can expand into that choice and you can grow in your skills and your comfortability, if you will. And then you can step again to even grow further. And then that's how we can really progress in life without getting fearful and shrink back. And then we hide who we are because we're afraid, because we have Maybe we've been forced into something in the past where we did not feel comfortable and somewhere down the road we decided we're never doing that again. That was so scary, never, ever, and shut everything down. So now it's a new opportunity to step into something new without freaking yourself out. Just step slowly and energetically first and feel it out and then breathe, expand, let yourself expand into it. And pretty soon... You're going to be rocking whatever it is you're choosing because you're knowing how to adjust you to match your new surroundings and your new challenges and your new everything because we are creating every experience. Um, so anyway, yeah. Anyway, I know this was a little bit long, but I'm excited. It feels like you've got some really awesome things coming up, Cancer. So you just do your thing. Don't hide. Just take baby steps and rock that. You've got this. You've got this. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.